Polly Genova. Hey! So good to see you. Welcome to London. Thank you again. It's so great to have you here. And you're having your own concert with Bobo in yes. London. Yes, exactly. How did that come about? Was this booked before Eurovision? No, after that. Right away after that, I, I just uh, get back to Sofia and... Um, my producer, Samantha, said, do you want to go to London again? I was like, oh, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> oh, yes, because you were here for the promo tour as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. I need to ask you, you know, because we don't see the green room. Mm -hmm. When those points were rolling in, well, I mean, first of all, congratulations, you qualified for the final. Thank you. And when those points were rolling in, what was your reaction? Um... If I have to be honest, I really don't like these numbers and points and everything else. And I was, I, I tried all the time. I, I was trying not to think about it. And I was like, okay, can we start and then finish with this thing and have and have the, the after party after that? I was, I'm because I'm not that um, competition type. I really, I really don't like these things. I like the performance on the stage and everything else and the show and the people and the audience and the viewers and everything. But. Uh, after that, uh, it's super boring, and it's very—it makes me nervous without reason. And that I was like, okay, it's, 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 I have to finish. When's the time to finish this thing? You know? And yeah, nothing, nothing more. That I really, I, I, if I have to have a choice, I'll never, um, I will never wanted to uh, know the. Um, exact numbers, the order or everything else. I just wanted to have some fun. So you probably prefer the old the older voting system where the results were combined and they were just going like that rather than jury um, televote. Yeah it's too much. It's too much. <laughs> and I think it's just a matter of time because um, you know uh, the mess messages and uh, everything else between the mobile companies it's almost over. I think the, the future is in the internet. It's in from the social medias. Where are you, for example? So, yeah, that's the future. You're the future. And yeah. you are Bulgaria's national hero. You've given Bulgaria the best result ever at the, at the, <laughs> at the um, Eurovision Song Contest. What was the reception like when you flew back to Sofia? It was crazy. Um, I didn't... Um, I didn't understand nothing until I landed on the on the ground with the plane, and everything was completely different. Uh, people were. Screaming. I hope you flew first class. <laughs> yeah, actually, I flew with the pilot of the plane. Oh yes, this is how you do it. <laughs> so yeah, it was the best flight ever. So uh, yeah, people are very very happy in Bulgaria. Crazy, had to happy, you know. They're, they had me all the time on the streets, uh, in the shops. It doesn't matter. They're, they're so super happy and they say thank you for giving us a reason to, to smile again. And to but of course, as soon as you touched down, you had so many other bookings. You had to do your face sounds familiar, you had other things. How, how is it? What is the world of Poly Genova like keeping up with all of this? Like bang after bang after bang. That's my world. Exactly as you said, bang after bang after bang. I I just can't wait for new horizons, new things, new people, new musicians, new songs. And I'm really, really excited because I know that the best is yet to come. I'm, I'm sure about it. And you know what our readers are excited about? Eurovision 2017. Now, there have been a lot of rumors that Elisa Todorova, she could be representing Bulgaria, Press Slava keeps coming up. Can you tell us what is happening in Sofia right now with BNT and who it's, they're thinking it's about? It's too early to say because um, a lot of things are going to happen in the television uh, because there are going to be uh, selections and everything else. So you never know. It's too early, really. Bulgarians, you know, we're the kind of people that we're doing everything in the very last moment. Oh, we don't have time. Oh, no, we forgot it. Oh, we lost it. So. Yeah, it's too, really, really too early to, to talk about it, but it's good to have a good choice, a good song for the next year because we did something and we have to do something more and more and more year after year. I, I'll, I'll be happy, I'll be really happy if someone be uh, higher than me. It's Bulgaria, it's a national cause. Well, they'll, they'll have to struggle to find anybody bigger than you at the moment. We have to thank you very much for sending that package to the House of Team Wee Wee with all the CDs and all the gifts and of all the... Of course. What is the next single? 
Oh, it's a very, very cool song. Um, in Bulgarian or English? We have both versions. Yeah. Don't have much time with you, sadly. Lots of people want to interview Polly Genova. All the broadcasters and all the journalists are here, so we're not going to take up any much more time. We love you sincerely. Another lovely message for our readers, please. Just love Wee Blogs. They're oh. so cool. I love them, so you have to love them. Keep in touch. Mwah. Oh my God, and I love you too. Thank you. <laughs>